video series, uh, Assurance of Salvation, I've touched on it in the previous two. Jesus wants you to know that you know. God, your Father, wants you to know that you know. The Holy Spirit wants you to have a complete assurance of the fact that when you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are born again. Your sins are forgiven. You are a child of God. It is a fact. Um, and when you wake up on a Monday morning after a glorious service on Sunday, that you don't wake up wondering, am I saved? You know, am I born again? Am I a child of God? Living that life of uncertainty, it's not God's desire, it's not God's will, it's not God's pleasure. He wants you to know that you know, that you know that you're born again, that you're His child. Now there's three um, things that the Bible gives us, three um, realities, three resources that God gives us, if I can put it that way. For you to know that you know with a certainty that you're a child of God. And the, the first thing is, God gives you the word. And we need to exalt the truth of the word above everything. And so Paul says in Romans 10, 9 and 10, listen to what he says. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Now with these two organs, the mouth and the heart, he says, the heart one believes resulting in righteousness. And the other, he says, the mouth, one confesses that Jesus is Lord and this results in salvation. If you ever wake up, if you're ever in a situation, if you're ever going through a hard time and you feel like, am I really born again? Just remind yourself, well, I did believe in my heart and I did confess with my mouth, Jesus is Lord. Then you are righteous, then you are saved. And so the first thing he does is give you the word. So always go back to the word of God and convince yourself, in other words, renew your mind that you are born again. Because God's word is true and it doesn't lie. Your feelings may change, but the truth of God's word. And so I've educated my mind according to the word of God. I, had, I did this and I repeated and repeated until I came to a settled assurance of salvation. The second thing that he gives us is the evidence of the indwelling spirit. He said in 1 John 14, Jesus said, I will give you the spirit to be with you and in you. He will dwell with you forever. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And so if you have the spirit, of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you have the Spirit of God, then you are born again because He does not give His Spirit to somebody who is not saved. And the great thing, and this brings us to the third point, is that the Spirit communicates with your spirit an assurance of salvation. Listen to what He says in Romans chapter 8 and verse 16. He says, God's Spirit touches our spirits and confirms who we really are. We know who He is and we know who we are, father and children. And so you have the witness of the Holy Spirit. And so he communicates, he convinces you of the fact that you're born again. But you need to first have the word, second, the indwelling spirit, and third, the confirmation, the witness of the spirit to your spirit. So I pray that you may know, that you may know, that you know, that you know, that you're a child of God. Bless you. Thank you for watching us and uh, I want to encourage you please to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and SoundCloud, connect with us on LinkedIn and then also subscribe to us on YouTube.